box, so I'm going to go ahead and make a public confession. I know y'all recording. It's about to send it everywhere. Miss Rock, I apologize for holding you accountable for my grown-ass son. Um... Even though I feel like you could have been a much better choice of influence, um, he is an adult, and he has the final say in the decisions <clears throat> that he makes. And I feel like if somebody was blaming Callie for their son's wrongdoings, and she was participating in such activities, I would hold her accountable. But at the end of the day, he did make the, the he has to make the final decision because I do hold Callie's ex-husband accountable for driving her to an unsafe location um, to put her in harm's way regardless of how he felt about the situation. He knew he couldn't beat my son up. He knew it was a possibility that my son was going to protect Rock, and he still drove my daughter there. Um, and I still, you know, held him accountable as the man. So, yes, um, I probably have been a little biased in not holding um, John accountable as I've held Callie's ex-husband accountable. Um, but that's what mothers do. We, um, we favor our own until we have to look in the mirror one day and accept responsibility. Because definitely if I raise him to be a quarterback and make the best decisions on the field, he should be making the best decisions at home. I love my son. I love all my kids with all my heart. Um, yes, we do. We favor our own children. Um, but I just had to look at it from a different perspective. I had to look at it from, you know, how I feel about Cali's situation to how I feel about Miss Rock. And I don't hold grudges. I don't feel like I'm biased toward fought me or kicked me in my head like I said I've been, been in fights my whole life so that wasn't a big deal for me the big deal was just the the choice of words and things that ring in my head that she said about me never getting my son back or never seeing my son maybe I felt like maybe I held that um in my heart as hardened towards her um but yeah, just the disrespect, it was just, you know what I'm saying? The disrespect was just a bit much. <clears throat> now she want to apologize. <laughs> I guess because it's getting closer to the due date, she want to make sure that she be in Christian Rock Baby life. That's all it is, man, because ain't no one here. It been a million times before this where I feel like she said it either said, let me stay out your business or Krishan, I, I apologize. But at least she apologizing right now. Whether she mean it or not, because for the longest, every time Blueface and Krishan get into any situation, whether it's a fight, a big argument on IG Live, or something like this, she quick to blame Krishan. It's always Krishan's fault. She made him do it. He only did it because of her. She keep on acting like he don't got his own brain. In three, four years, this nigga gonna be 30. Like he already a grown ass man with two kids, one on the way. On top of that, he got the opportunity of a lifestyle. He a millionaire. He could stay out of trouble and just make money and live a positive life. But of course, you gotta be on some dumb shit. Keep getting locked up over dumb shit. Keep on recording Krishan, keep on recording Jaden at their worst moments, trying to make yourself look like a player, a pimp, trying 
try to make it seem like you always keep it cool. Like, nah, that's not how you do it, bro. You gotta, first of all, you gotta keep it real with yourself. If you can't keep it real with yourself, you're not gonna be real with nobody. It's like you keep on trying to convince yourself he a player, he's a crip, he a gangster, whatever you wanna call it. And based on what his mama say and his brother say, he came from a solid background. It was just when his mama, she moved away from him. So I guess he was living by himself. He ain't really had no parental supervision. So he just found his way like a lot of kids do. Whether you come from a good environment or a bad environment, if you ain't got nobody to help lead you, like to help give you advice, to tell you, don't do this, don't do that, then you're going to just be following the wrong crowd, being influenced or what's on TV, what's in the music. And I feel like that's what Blueface messed up. Man. He, he got to influence with hip hop and gangster shit and all that because he was a quarterback. He went to college on a scholarship. He had his whole life in front of him. He got lucky enough to be a rapper. Then he turned into a crip, got all tatted up. His career started going down the hill. Then he started a reality show. And here go Krishan Rock. She came from a messed up background too. So both crazy ass insecure people get together and just wild out. And here go the crazy ass mama taking the sunset. At least she admit though. She was like, look, when they got anything to do about my kids, I do be a little extra. At least she admit that, but still, she need to admit that she be too much into her son's business. Like, I wish the hell I would be in my 40s or 50s. And my grown ass son, he dating whoever he want to date. And I'm going to be on my phone. Yeah, man, I don't know why he did this. He need to do this. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no. How the hell you married? You got two other kids. But yet, you always focus on Blueface and Krishan. But she didn't say nothing about Blueface recording Jaden when she taking a piss outside, when she falling out drunk, can't even stand up. She ain't say nothing about him. But because it's Krishan Rock, she got a problem. Like, nah, she trying to get back on Krishan good side. But shit, probably like in one or two business days, she going to be right back talking about Krishan. It never fails. It never fails. But shit, Krishan got to realize who's in her corner for her and who's not. Because she got the opportunity to be way bigger than Blueface. If she connect with the right people like Glorilla and Cardi B, she could be bigger than Blueface. She just got to leave all that toxic stuff behind her and just focus on her career and her baby. Like She know Blueface not there for her. He's there for him, what he can get. Simple as that. And when she realized that, man, she could be a superstar if she got the right team around her. And what y'all think about this, your boy B? Mm -hmm.